Denmark may next sign a security agreement with the Ukraine, and while the document is being prepared, they have already announced the transfer of all its artillery for the Ukrainian army. The state's prime minister, Mate Frederiksen, notes that the EU still has weapons on its storage that should be handed over to Kyiv immediately. But if you ask the Ukraines, they are asking us for ammunition now, artillery now. Uh, from, from the Danish side, we, we decided to donate our entire artillery. And, and, and I'm sorry to say, friends, there are still ammunition in stock in Europe. This is not only a question about production, because we have weapons, we have ammunition, uh, we have air defense that we don't have to use ourselves at the moment, that we should deliver to U Ukraine. The Prime Minister did not name the exact amount of artillery and the time frame for its transfer to Ukraine. However, experts believe that Denmark may send the weapons immediately. Most likely we are talking about 109 self-propelled artillery systems. They have 24 of them, and it can arrive quite fast. It could be 101 cannons, 105 caliber, there are six of them in service. And of course at least 20 mortars of various calibers, as well as about 12 multiple rocket launchers. Kiev is expecting more than just ground equipment from its Western partners. According to Dutch Prime Minister Mark Rutte, the Ukrainian armed forces will receive at least 24 F-16 fighter jets. Also, according to Bloomberg, thousands of drones with artificial intelligence are being prepared for transfer to Ukraine. This issue is being supervised by the UK and its allies. France is developing new kamikaze drones for Ukraine. In the coming weeks, Ukraine will be among the first to receive these drones. This also presents an opportunity for combat testing of this new generation of equipment. Sebastian Lecarnu, Minister of the Armed Forces of France in comments to the journal Du Dimanche. In addition to the newly announced arms deliveries, negotiations are also being continued on providing Kyiv with high-precision towers cruise missiles. Ukrainian Foreign Minister Dmitro Kuleba believes that Berlin will still make a positive decision for the Ukrainian army. We need a political solution. The solution is on Scholz's side. We are also working with the Bundestag. There is an idea how to push Scholz from the side of the Bundestag. We continue to work, and until we have Tauruses in Ukraine, we will not leave it. In early 2024, Ukrainian Defense Minister Rustam Umerov said that Kyiv was experiencing a shortage of ammunition. European partners are also involved in solving this problem. The Czech Republic has found 800,000 artillery shells abroad, which can be delivered to Ukraine in the coming weeks if it gets help with financing. Just once and immediately 800,000. Once against and immediately 500,000 shells and all the artillery systems. Even though it's not enough, but that's all they have. This is a very positive signal for us. With this approach, Europe is also quite a strong force. To avoid a shortage of ammunition, the German arms concern will also open a new ammunition factory in Ukraine. They will work together with a Ukrainian partner company. The plan is to provide a six-figure number of 155 mm caliber shells annually. Reported by Anastasia Tarnavska, Nikita Skoblikov, UATV News.